What's up all you cool kids? This is Daisy Collins of TsunamiRose.net coming at you live from my craft room here in Las Vegas, Nevada. As I do, you guys, Monday through Friday, bringing you junk journal content and videos. So if that's what you're into, please do subscribe and give me a little thumbs up on this video. I do pretty much post something new every single day. Um, today, what we're doing is we're following along my Hexagon Junk Journal Saga which of course started with me sewing all these little hexagons together <laughs> and then finally here we are today where we are ready to decorate so i'm really excited this is a three signature junk journal hi patricia what's up girlfriend three signature junk journal so this is going to take me a while usually it takes me like an hour per signature i usually go live for an hour at a time but anyways we are here and we are ready to work on this journal, I am using my new kit, um, Ambrosia in Vogue. If y'all are interested, you can check it out in my shop. I also have various um, printables of my own design kind of thrown through this journal. And I'm just really excited to get to decorating it. That is one of the fun parts for me. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting all the things that I don't want to forget into the journal. So basically things that I don't want to forget is where the paper clips go. I like to paper clip things onto the journal here and there. You know, this is a blue, greenish kind of um, stuff going through it. So I'm going to put this one here. Okay, let me try and get that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I do three paper clips per signature, two small and one big. So that's per signature. So let's find where we're going to clip and what we are going to clip to that. So I'm going to use this page right here to clip because um, I don't really want to cover this up and there's nothing really here for you to write on or anything. Neither here on the back. It has this really pretty flower here and I don't want to cover it up. But I also um, want to put something there. So we are going to start with things from my stash here behind me. I have journal cards. And then on the back here, we can put a printable of some sort. We can put one of these uh, vintage ephemeras here. Let's see. a little postcard there just like a little writing spot okay second paper clip we're gonna put it in we'll just put it in the same page but opposite side on the signature this one's gonna be kind of our bigger paper clip or I can clip on some bigger things here Hi, Laura. What is up? I love that little box for the paper clips. Yes, my little, um, this is called St a Lockables Craft by Craftmates. They sell these at Joanne's. I love them too. So now I need another journal card. And we're going to put one of my, um, stitched, stitched up cards. We'll put that right there. And then on this side... Um, what else do I have? I have, oh yeah, <clears throat> I normally put something actually vintage into the journal. So what do I got here? I have some things here, my little bag of vintage things. This is a vintage receipt. So we'll put that in this page right here. That'll be cool. It's a nice big page there. Okay. Okay, so now we need another small clip somewhere. I guess we'll clip on this page because I'm not going to want to cover this up. Well, at least not that side. Let me see. Let me see, let me see. Oh gosh, 
sure we're too close to the other one. I guess we will clip it on to this hanky since I'm not going to want to cover it up anyways because it's adorable. So we'll just clip something on to this right here. What do I got? What do I got? Sometimes I change my mind later and I'll switch things around. But for right now, this photograph would be beautiful. And I spent all day today pretty much um, cutting out my black and white ephemera. I had not done this in a while. I have sets of black and white ephemera and I will print them out on different colored papers. And I spent all day cutting these out. I still have a lot of them left. I cut, it's about a 15 page set and I print it out in like five or six colors. So I've been doing nothing but cutting out those images um, since this afternoon. <laughs> kind of a boring job, but I'm also excited to use them because I used to use them a lot. So that kind of photograph, this is actually printed on brochure paper, but it's nice and shiny, so it looks adorable. Okay, so that's that signature's paper clips. Now this signature's paper clips. I think I'm going to pick, let's see. I guess I'll pick this page right here because it's writable. I don't want to cover it. I don't want to actually cover it up with anything, but this will just be like a temporary, temporary situation here. Put this big old piece of graph paper that you can, <laughs> that's kind of funny. It's already graph paper, but here's a graph. And you can write on the back of that, so it's kind of cute. And then here, you know what I need to add? It's like a jar. I really need, I need to print out my really big jar, so maybe this will be a placeholder. Okay, so let's pick something up now towards the middle. We use the same page that we did on the last signature. Uh... Do you work all day, every day? When you work for yourself, you kind of do. <laughs> you kind of do work all day, every day. But it doesn't feel like it, you know? <laughs> it really doesn't feel like it, but um, yeah, I kind of do. I kind of do. I've been getting into this rhythm where like in the morning and afternoon, I'll design something like a new digi a new printable, and then in the evening, I work on junk <laughs> So yeah, it is kind of a all day thing. But I love it. I'm not complaining at all. But yeah, pretty much, pretty much it is like my little job. And uh, I get to pick which 15 hours days I, which 15 hours a day I work. <laughs> It was a meme that I saw somewhere. So yeah, I work for myself, so that means I get to pick which 15 hours a day I work. <laughs> she works very hard. I try, no, I try. <laughs> as hard as I possibly can. Let's see, I think here I'm gonna put one of these giant ephemeras that I'm telling you that I just printed out. This is my ephemera set number 40, which I love. And then on this side, we will put, what do I have? What do I, have? I have stuff, but what stuff do I have? Um, there's this big card. <laughs> Let's just put it on right there. Why not? Why not? Okay. So now we go towards the end. Is that, is that it for that signature? Yeah. Okay. I like it. Okay, so now we go on to the next signature. I always like to do this uh, off the bat because I always forget where to put my paper clips. And I hate when I forget. Because then they don't get spaced out the way I like. And I get worried. 
When did you start your business? Um, I started designing digitals in 2011. And um, it's just been kind of growing since then. This is what my fourth or fifth year working this only, like solely as my um, only income for about the, yeah, the last like five years or so. It has, and I don't have any more of the fun paint chips. Like the ones with two colors or three colors. It's been quite a ride, but I love it. I would not, I would not be good at doing anything else. <laughs> Let's see. I need one in the middle. I think I put this one two way off to the inside, but they didn't really go anywhere else. <clears throat> so here. I guess I might put it on this page right here. I guess that's what it will have to be. Okay. Let's see. I have a bingo card. I could go right here. And then in here. What am I going to put? What am I going to put? Do have... Things here next to me. I'm trying to figure out what to put on this page. Got this big journal card right here. That can go right there. And then that, and then I got uh, two more. Two more. No, one more. Yeah, one more paper clip to down. Let's see. We use this page again. Okay, so here I have journal cards, and on this side, I'll put another one of my um, stitch note cards. Just love these new cards so much. Okay, so there are my paperclip stuff. Why did you pick Tsunami Rose? I've actually been going by Tsunami Rose since I was like 13. Um on the internet. It's just always always <laughs> been my username as long as I can remember. Um I it was actually my friend in middle school that came up with it. And I just kind of told her, like, hey, I'm going to start using that. <laughs> and uh, I've just been using it ever since. I have just, it's just been my thing ever since. I don't want to cover up any writing space, though. Oh, this would be cute right here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so that pocket will go right there. And then I need, an, I need to do three pockets per signature. Now I need a pocket towards the middle. And she's still my friend on um, on Facebook, so she knows I go by that name still. <laughs> but yeah, my friend came up with it. I just liked it. I, don't, I can't remember what she said it. She always had like cool usernames. And I guess I wanted to be just like her. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we can put, instead of this one here, I think I'm going to put this, yeah, this will be cute right here. Okay, and now I need a pocket near the end here. It caught my eye because Tsunami is Japanese, and I'm Japanese slash Hawaiian. It is a Japanese word. I am not Japanese. At the time, I was really into anime. <laughs> so, um, I liked it too. Um, yeah, no relation. I am not Japanese. No relation at all. Okay. 
I thought the wallpaper had ripped right here, but now it's good. Is it? Oh, no. I'll have to tape it or something. This signature might have had too many pages. It's a little frail. Okay, Daisy. Lesson learned. I always want to do the most. It really sucks. Okay, so we can put a pocket here. Put, ooh, this fun red pocket because it kind of goes with this, the hanky design over here. And I like that. I want to cover this whole thing up though. So I think I might switch from over here to over here because this page ended up upside down. <laughs> and I'm not trying to show that mistake. So let's cover that up there. I can add this little page right here. Okay. Now, so there's that. Now we need a pocket in the middle. Hawaii is my home. Very cool. I've never been to Hawaii. I would love to go to Hawaii. That sounds fabulous. I actually want to put one of these little pockets somewhere. Oh, so is this glued together? Are you serious? Whack. Just whack. Wait, how are all of these glued together? This doesn't make any sense. This must be some sort of defect. I am literally just finding out right now. And I think I just, are you serious? How? Okay, now I'm mad. Now I'm, I don't even know where I got these, but I'm upset now. Are you freaking, okay, so one is good. How does that even happen to so many of them? This one is glued to, what the? Just what, I demand an explanation here. Ruined. Just ruining all these cute little bags. Just let me open it up. But what the heck, though? Three. I got three little, little bags left. Not cool. But I want to put this somewhere. Because this one's always perfect for like a little tag. Maybe we'll put it right here or something. That might be cute. Okay. Focus, Daisy. Focus. I'm working on pockets. Okay, so that's one pocket there. We need another pocket here or somewhere. Oh, yeah, we need one of these um layered pockets. That's what we need there. And then we need a last pocket. Last page pocket. You know what? I do have these big cellophane pocket. I think I'm going to put that there. Okay. 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 So, we've got this. I have this pocket. That would actually look cute there. And then in the middle, I need another pocket. Put something here. Am I too close to that pocket? Mm -hmm. I'd say no, not too far. I do you like to put a pocket in the middle though? Uh, and I'm gonna put another layer pocket here and I think I'm going to move the layer pocket I was gonna put in miniature. I'm gonna trade it with this pocket right here. And then there's one in the front and then one in the back. So that makes me feel better. <laughs> Not that it really matters, but I feel much better about the situation now. Okay, so now I need to put a pocket at the very end somewhere. We'll pick the same blue page as in the front. And here, 
I can put one in these pockets. That would look cute. Okay. So organized and have room for everything. I do. I'm so lucky. I'm lucky to have big space to be organized. Well, if you looked around at my desk right now, you probably, in my area, you probably wouldn't say I was organized. It's kind of crazy right now. But my embellishments, my embellishment wall, because I could just grab it and put it away. I do. <laughs> so, but some things I am very organized. Most things I'm not. Violet. Hi, Violet. Thank you, Emily. Thank you. Here. I might have to retire my three signature journals and make them all two signature because three signature I don't know it's not working out <laughs> I keep saying do smaller amounts of pages in the signature and I don't listen I don't listen to myself it's tough okay so that'll go there okay so now that I've got the pockets, I've got the paper clips where I want them to be. Um, now I can definitely work on decorating. I'll glue down the pockets as they go and adding stuff to the pockets, I mean, I'll do later. Okay. So in the front here, I don't want to put too much. But I also don't want to leave it empty. I'm just going to put this little embellishment right here. Who else is here? Emily and, P and Sharon. Hello. How many pages in each signature? There's probably about 13 or 15 pages per signature. I always say I'm going to put 12 pages per signature, but it always explodes to about 15. But really, honestly, save yourself the heartache and just do 12. <laughs> it's just so hard to get it down to, oh, I'm only going to do 12 pages because I don't, I want to do more. <laughs> I want to do a lot more than that. Always. And it's tough. It's just really tough. Let's see what we got here. Got some empty stuff. Base. Okay. I like to decorate every single page. Of course, you don't have to. <laughs> I suggest you keep your sanity, perhaps, and don't. But I really enjoy decorating every single page, at least with something. I like to add something to the page. Even if it's like this, and it's just this little figurine of this little doll. I'll just put it right here just and it's everything is mostly flat most of my embellishments are mostly flat so you can still write in it I do mostly make my journals so that they can be written in what should I do over here maybe I should do this no, you know what? I need stamps. I don't want to cover up this page because you can still write on it. So I don't want to cover it up too much. And I like to space out my little embellishments here and there. So that's also why I'm not going to put down an embellishment because I just did. So I got these vintage stamps. I'll place down three. I always like to do three. Normally, they're kind of random. I usually pick them by color, not by... Sometimes, I guess I do pick them up by theme. But usually, I just care about the color scheme. And I like to do three. Odd numbers are better. And since I decorated something down here, now I want to put something up here opposite of that. 
Uh, I was the one who asked how many hours it took you to complete a journal. I think you said 10. I'm wondering if that includes all the little ephemera. I think that includes, I would say that that includes all the little ephemera, to be honest with you. Um, I think, I think that would include all the ephemera too. And I mean, a journal like this right here, this cover, forget about it. This cover took me forever. Just the hexagons alone took me forever. So I, I don't even know how many this would take. A simple journal would take eight to 10 hours. More elaborate journal like this with this back, it's crazy. But that's how I like to spend my time. <laughs> that is how I like to spend my time. So here we are. Here we are doing it. Um, then, of course, I design all these pages. I design this. I, it's uh, It gets a little intense when you're adding up time. Time-wise, when you're adding it up, it gets a little intense. But uh, I love it. This would go beautiful right here. Daisy, you have to teach me what equipment to use when you're streaming live like this. Maybe a video possible. I have a video on my setup. I could do an updated version, though nothing really has changed. The only thing that changed, so I already made a video on how I go live. Um, the only difference is I used to use these lamps. Um, just like literally just regular lamps. But then I got a light bulb installed in my fan above me and it's white instead of yellow. And now if you look at my camera, like I don't even need to use lamps anymore. Um. Let's see if I can, uh, overhead, I can call it overhead filming. Overhead film setup, I believe is the name. Here it is. Okay, uh, Violet, there's the link to the video. Hi, Kelly, how are you, girl? There's the video uh, link, Violet, to my How I Film setup. It has everything included on my own. Um, all my equipment. I still use the same equipment. Okay. That, there's this, there's this. I want to keep this blank because it's such a cute little hanky. Over here, though, we can put something pretty. Maybe one of these. That'd be cute. Am I correct that journals and card making is more about the passion and joy of doing it rather than making a lot of money? Um... It all starts off as passion, you know. I'm a hustler, though, to be honest with you. Like, I, I've always liked to make money off my crafts, like, ever since I was a little kid. <laughs> so I've always, whatever I'm into, I'll try and make a dollar off of it. <laughs> when I used to make cards, I used to sell cards, and it was fun to get things done fast. It's a little game for me. But um, you don't have to make money if you you don't have to make money off of your off of whatever you like. If you just like to do it just to do it and give stuff away, then do that. You don't have to make money. That that adds some uh, stress to it. But um, also, I think it's fun. I always found it fun to to make things and sell them.
But um, luckily, junk journals, more than cards, I would say. Junk journals sell for more money. And it would take me the same amount of time to make a bunch of cards than it would take me to make one journal. So I said, this is easier. <laughs> I'm actually off of work tonight, so I get to watch some Daisy Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. She gets to join us today. I'm such a good singer, you guys. Like, I'm next. I would say I'm up next. <laughs> I would say I'm the next Mariah Carey. I want to say that. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this here just because it looks kind of cute. You can make a lot of money off junk journals, but you have to be good at taking photos. You have to be consistent at it. You have to have a YouTube channel. You have to have a lot of followers. Um, you can make some money if you don't have any of that. But to make a lot of money, most people have a lot of followers. And they've got good photography. They've been going at it for a long time. And um, I would say definitely practice making junk, making junk journals or whatever it is that you want to make money off of. You got to make it a little bit more special than what somebody can make themselves. That's that's my kind of my thought process to making something that people would be willing to purchase. I got to make this somehow a little bit more special, a little bit more detailed. It's almost like, you know, couture clothing. You got to make it more special than what Sears can put on their rack. And that might be quality of uh, materials. It could be the time it takes to make it. Right? I mean, I'm, I'm practically Dior. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I say stupid things, you guys. I don't actually mean it, okay? <laughs> um, let's see here. Put this right here. Really cute. Yes, it takes time. Daisy does mask making, which helps a lot. It does until I stop months later. I have all these journals, and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like decorating for six months. So I'm not the most uh, business savvy. <laughs> I'm definitely not any business model you should follow. <laughs> I take too long to make journals, to be honest with you. But um, to like make all my money off journals, I don't make enough journals. But that's okay, because I don't try and make all my money off my journals. You know what I mean? It's a small little, little um, process and byproduct. I would say my journals are more of a byproduct than like my main product. I make the printables and I make most of my money off printables. And I'm going to show y'all and inspire y'all how, on how to use those printables in your junk journals. And that's my main business. And me making these junk journals is literally just a byproduct of that. <laughs> But um, I still love it. I still have a lot of fun making them. Obviously, I wouldn't do it, right? Right. Let's see. Do I want to cover this up too much? Maybe with one of these. This is kind of, this actually looks kind of cooler here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. No, do I want to do that? No, I don't. No, I don't. I know what I want to do. <coughs> Thank you, Patricia. You're too nice. You're too nice. 
<laughs> Y'all are too kind. I appreciate it. Um, I think the junk journal community is awesome because I don't see other card makers buying cards. You know what I mean? But junk journalers will buy other people's junk journals in a heartbeat. So I think that it's so great that we have such a supportive community. That's what I think is great. Okay, so this is going to go right here. Oh, it's going to look beautiful. You know what I um haven't decided, though, is where my um, recipes are going to go. That's one thing I have not decided. I have a bag or two. <laughs> I have a couple bags, okay? A couple of bags of these just random... Literally very random recipes. <laughs> and I'm trying to use them up. I think I'll put this one here just because it fits. And this is a recipe for no drip fudge bars. That sounds good to me. So true. This community is uh, very supportive. It really is. It really, really is. I love it. It's a... It's, uh, it's definitely a lovely community to have been embraced by, and I'm so lucky. Okay, so this one will go right here. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. Now I gotta find something here. And um that's where. Um, that one's too bright. Hang on. I'm trying to find something that will fit there perfectly. This one? It does fit and it makes it a little bit more colorful on the page. Can we talk about meatloaf? Oh my God, again. <laughs> again, everybody's trying to convert me into a meatloaf lover. <laughs> everybody's trying to, trying to get me hooked on meatloaf. <laughs> I can't, Patricia. I don't want to talk about meatloaf. <laughs> not today, Patricia, please. Please, not today. <laughs> You guys are too much. You guys are too much. Okay, cool. So here we are. I might actually have to stop and make more embellishments at some point. I'm looking around. I'm trying to find the cup half full, but I'm like, oh my God, I'm running out of embellishments. I've just been making journal and journal and journal because I do have a lot of stuff to use up. As you can see behind me, I have plenty of stuff to use up. <sighs> but I always panic. I think I'm going to leave this by itself because it has... Well, maybe I can put something up here. Something. 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 Okay, this doesn't cover up anything anything important. It still shows off the little little girl there. Which one do I want to put that? Or this? I think I'm gonna go with the dark purple one. Oh, I totally love my mom's. 
<laughs> Hi, Jennifer. I don't like hot sauce, y'all. Whenever I taste hot sauce, all I taste is vinegar, and I can't stand it. So I don't like hot sauce, to be honest with you. I never did as a child because I didn't like spicy things as a child. And now as an adult, I sniff hot sauce, and I just it just smells like vinegar, and I hate vinegar. I hate vinegar so much. So I can't do hot sauce because they all just smell like vinegar. Okay, so that'll go up there. This has interesting imagery. I want to cover it up entirely. Oh, I could put this little lady right here. She looked adorable. Oh, she would be a cute, would she be cute? No, she would be a, kind of a weak tuck spot. Maybe this side of it or something. No, no, no. I'm just going to glue her down. Tuck spot would not work. You know what? I actually want to make some thank you cards because I have um, so many of you that kindly send me cool stuff and I want to send back some thank you cards. Um, Random, does anyone know how much postage do you guys think it would need to for a really fat A2 size card? Uh, thank you so much. This is from my um, new Ambrosia kit. Um... You know, the last time I tried to send a greeting card that was thick because uh, I put, like, a flower on it, they charged me, like, $5. It was, like, four and some change. They, 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 it was like I was sending any other package $4 of tracking. So, I guess it can get a little ridiculous, and that's kind of why I stopped selling cards. Because people, unless they were going to give it to somebody local, they would think twice about the postage. Like, don't be cheap, y'all. <laughs> I know if you're going to send out a lot of cards, it could be expensive. If it's just one card, I mean, come on. <laughs> but yeah, it was like for something. Because they, it's like a package. It's not a flat card. So they try and take advantage of the situation. <laughs> But yeah, my card was heavy because, you know, you're thinking about cardstock and then cardstock embellishments and then a flower that's bulky. Yeah, they don't they don't like that at the post office. They they bring it up like a regular package. It is a little crazy. Uh, hi, Amy. How are you today? Let's see. We got this down. Okay. I think this is going pretty well. Again, <laughs> there is no theme in my journals other than like flowers and flowers everywhere. This one technically has a um, butterfly and hummingbird theme. The pages do, but everything I'm putting down is just flowers. It's just flowers. Uh, let's see, what are we going to put here? I need something we could write on, maybe. Maybe, or a cute quote, or something. Let's see. Dance in the rain. No. <laughs> mm, no. I don't like this either. Oh, you know what would go cute on this page? I have this book of uh i guess it's technically like a calendar you like rip off every day but at the bottom here it has really cute quotes so sometimes i'll just rip off a quote and i'll just use the bottom of that and then i'll usually throw this part away and that kind of makes like a cute little journal spot so i do that sometimes
I'm going to put a little decor at the top part of it. I so absolutely love that light blue doily. Um, light blue doily. Where? Oh, this one, this polka dot one, it's adorable. I can't find it anymore. So all I got is what I got. I bought it years ago on eBay. I bought a whole bunch of them. They were just there. I don't know. It must have been a good price because I don't really, I don't like to splurge on junk journal supplies. It better be affordable. That'll look cute there. But I try and look them up and I don't see them selling it anymore. Okay, so I use this right here. There we go. Yes, that makes me happy. Okay, cool. So you could have already written on that, but I thought I'd get something cool like that. Where did you get those? I got them on Amazon years and years. Not Amazon, eBay years and years and years ago. They are no longer available. Okay. I'll put something up here. The one on the butterfly and hummingbird theme. What are we? I think I'm missing something. Just went to watch your video. So helpful. Big thumbs up. Thanks for sharing. And everything um, that I purchased, I got everything off of Amazon. So I did link everything in the description of that video. If you um, want to check it out. That way we know exactly what we're talking about. Oh, these ladies are so beautiful. But I can't use them up all on the same signature. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, we got this little cup. A little cup. And then got some flowers on this cup or something. I'm trying to find like the perfect flower to fit in this cup, and I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Yeah, everything's too big. Yeah, everything's too big. <laughs> so do I even want to put it there? I mean, I could put one of these here on it. Okay, let's do that. The other way. Jennifer, I go too slow. I go too fast through the pages. And then I don't think Google shows me right away what you say, so I apologize if we're not on the same page here. Jen, oh, the full-size doily. The full-size doily I got from, um, from Michaels. Michaels, yes, where'd it go? Maybe you meant this way. I do have a full size doily. Yeah, a full size doily on every signature. These are from Michaels. I don't know if they still have them. This has like a little butterfly. I don't know if they still have them, but those are from Michaels. Okay, so that goes there. Excuse me. Okay. There's that. I don't think I'm going to add anything to this page because it's so pretty on its own. And then over here. Um, you know what I haven't added yet? There's a jar. I'm not 
added a jar anywhere. I think I'll add one right here. Yeah, I will. Beautiful, thank you. I'm on the hunt for those. I really like them. Yes, Michael. Sometimes the dollar store has really cool doilies. So, always on the hunt for doilies. Because <laughs> I love them. I buy a lot of them. But next thing I know, I use them all up. I don't even know how. But I did somehow. Okay, let's see if we can find a recipe that will fit on either side of this bag here. This is like wax, though. I don't know if this is going to glue down. I'm afraid to use that one. I'll come back to the page and it'll be gone. Here's a vintage Tupperware. Ah, that's going to be adorable. Yes. Yes, even though you won't be able to read this, the recipe. Sorry about it, but this is going in there from 1984. Cool. So cool. Uh, did you make the floral number ephemera? Yeah, I did. I did. They are vintage labels from my shop. And then I make the flowers. I cut them out if you want me to. Or you can cut them out yourself. But yeah, that uses the, the labels. Show you. Oops. Label. Okay. So here's the link for the vintage labels if you want to check that out. And then the link for the flowers, if you want to see the flowers, you can cut them out yourself, like I said. Um, or I have them in my shop as well. They're under mystery boxes. Um, I don't like to staple, you know? Because I feel like that adds bulk, and when you write on top of a staple, it's going to rip the page. Daisy, I have to say bye for today. I'll be shopping. Okay, girlfriend. Okay, okay. Ah! I, I need, I'm going to spend the rest of the night probably cutting all these out. Like I said, this is my black and white ephemera, and then I print it out on different color papers, like all sorts of different color papers, and it's 15 pages of it, so it's going to be um, quite the job to get them all cut out, but I'm so excited because they look so cute. I just freaking love it. Okay, I'm going to check out the black and white ephemera because I just really love it. That is, oops, no, no, okay, that is this right here. Ooh, are y'all excited for Valentine's Day? I'm excited for Valentine's Day. <laughs> In the hubby, we bought some sparkling apple cider so you know it's gonna get fancy <laughs> got the got the four dollar apple cider and we're gonna party it up <laughs> we're gonna party it up we're just gonna hang out probably all day just watch movies or something i don't know where we're gonna eat yet i think he wants to go get sushi I don't know if I want sushi, though. I 
I don't know. I'd eat it. But I don't know. Okay, I think I'm going to put this right here. It's just calling me Zena. I have the pastel colored labels. Uh, so the flowers like you did. I just love them. Don't they look cute? I need to make more new labels though. So I'll probably work on that next week. Oh, new labels. Well, make sure um, Walmart sells a pack of pastel papers. And um, it has purple, <clears throat> pink, blue, green, and it has yellow. Then I also printed them out on white and um, this brown. So I've been having fun. <laughs> I had a fun day. Of cutting them all out again it's a 15 page set and I must have printed it out like five or six times <laughs> so I have the the fun job of cutting them all out which actually isn't so bad okay we are almost at an hour and that's going to be it for me tonight. This one's going to get this. This is a pocket. This is technically a journal card, but I like to use it as a pocket. <laughs> so you could write on it, and it's also a pocket. You are inspiring to me. Make a couple of journals. Do you buy Walmart white cards off? I, <laughs> I would love to buy Walmart white card stock, okay? Before the pandemic, I would buy the little Walmart white card stock. No problem. I love it. I can't find it in stock anymore. So I've been having to buy my white card stock on Amazon. Walmart just, I cannot rely on a Walmart to stock glue or card stock right now. I don't know what happened to their supply chain when all this went down. <laughs> All of a sudden, uh, glue and cardstock are like hot commodities. I don't know what changed. <laughs> I don't know what changed, but something changed, and I can no longer, I can no longer find it reliably there. Unfortunately, I would love to. I really would, but I just can't rely on it. So. I buy mine now from Amazon. And it's a lot cheaper on Amazon too, so. I would recommend. Just because I wish I could. I wish I could buy it at Walmart, but I cannot. And I have not been able to find it there for, I don't even know how long, you guys. It's been a long time since they've reliably had cardstock. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad what's happening in the world. <laughs> um, but yeah. Why do I want to put that there? No, you know what? I'm going to put this over here. You look a little bit. Yeah, it looks cute there. I don't like it there. But anyways, you guys, this is pretty much it for me. I will see y'all on Monday. I hope y'all have a lovely weekend. And if you are celebrating it, I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. I do appreciate all your support this week. Thank you so much. Maybe because people at home are doing more crafting. I, I have to agree. I have to agree. <laughs> so I hope you all have a good weekend. Have a happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you all on Monday. Bye.